Hi guys, it's Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be doing this reading for Virgo for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. What messages do we have for Virgo for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th? Messages for Virgo for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. Virgo for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. What do we have for Virgo? Yes. Virgo. Wow, okay. All right, let's pull some clarification. What clarification do we have for Virgo? What clarification do we have for Virgo? Okay. Clarification for Virgo. We have about October the 22nd through the 29th. Clarification for Virgo. We have about October the 22nd through the 29th. Okay. Virgo. Okay. All right, Virgo, you may be coming in contact with karmic relationships, karmic, paying off some karmic debts this week. Um, these are lessons. When I, whenever I speak about karmic debts or karmic lessons, this is karmic debts, paying off karmic debts. These are lessons that you have to learn. Sunday, I see good news on its way, public recognition, victory. We also got the chariot, so there's a need for you to focus on something come Sunday. This also could be you focusing or trying to rear yourself in the right direction. Um... The chariot does speak of focus and sp speak of um, maybe willpower as well. So maybe some of you guys will need to file some type of willpower. Monday, we got the nine of, of wands. This represents not giving up. Don't give up. Have courage. Believe in yourself, especially with the high priestess. This is being in tune with yourself, believing in yourself, and following your intuition come Monday. Tuesday, we got the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving energy, but it does represent you needing to buckle down and get things done. It represents you needing to honor your commitments and understand that you're being watched over and your family as well. Because to clarify that, we pulled the Ten of Pentacles. This also can represent um, a slow progression toward financial security, but it's slow. So this is you needing to buckle down and get things done so you can move it on. Wednesday, we got ego. So this is a false sense, false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. You also got the alchemist. So this is you gaining control of your thoughts, gaining control of your emotions, and understanding that you have all the power within you to create your own destiny. Thursday, we have, we pulled three cards for Thursday, which is interesting. <laughs> the first card we pulled was the five of pentacles so this represents fear surrounding money um the wisdom to accept help for others and uncertain um employment to clarify that i pulled the two of swords so this represents um not seeing the truth of a situation or not opening your eyes to what's in front of you um this can also be miscommunication so there if you're if you're um like looking for a job or you're changing jobs this could represent miscommunication when it comes to a job or miscommunication when it comes to some type of finances, okay? The second card I pulled was the Ten of Swords. So this is the end of, di of a difficult situation. The need for you to embrace change and expect things to get better. Um, and to clarify that, I pulled the Emperor. So this is you having pride in yourself after you went through these struggles, after you went through this battle and you felt tore down, betrayed, hurt, um, just rock bottom the emperor talks about putting pride back into you and having confidence in you for you to complete your goals we also got the nine of cups so this is concerns fading away this is your dreams coming true and to clarify that i pulled the hermit so this is definitely you realizing or coming to some type of clarity or revelation that everything you need is in front of you and all you have to do is 
take the steps needed and to get there. Because the very next day, Friday, I got the Six of Swords. So this represents the end of a difficult situation, things looking up. We also got the Justice card. This means that things are weighing in your favor. This does mean that you are needing to make sure that you do what's right and what's just. Um, this could also be you weighing your options and moving past a difficult situation because Saturday I got the Eight of Cups. This is you having a desire to move on. You having a desire to search for something more meaningful, even some spiritual emotional growth. And with the King of Swords, as we know, he don't play no shit. Excuse my language. That's a another reading for whoever can catch it all right but we know he don't play like he gets rid of people left and right if you don't mean him any good he is you are out his life so this is your energy for saturday cutting people out of your life that mean you no good and sunday and the reason why i say that is because sunday we got the empress the empress represents lavish abundance giving birth to your dreams nurturing yourself the empress also represents fertility so if you do not want to have a baby you definitely need to wrap it up but the empress represents giving birth to your dreams creating something starting something and with the seven of cups this is stop daydreaming actually take the steps forward needed to get this done all right so let's pull some love oracle cards what energy do we have Virgo couples for the week of October 22nd through the 29th. Virgo couples for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. Oh, we had two pop, three pop out. Okay, Virgo, four? Shit. Virgo couples, someone from your past is returning from your life. It is safe for you to love. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. But be careful because someone is being deceptive. Someone is wearing a false mask in the relationship. And it could be you because it's saying make the effort. So maybe you're not putting your all into this relationship. It says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So let's see, what energy do we have for Virgo singles for the week of October the 22nd through the 29th? What energy do we have for Virgo singles? We got religious factors. This says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Let me tell you, I get this card a lot. <laughs> and usually when you're on a spiritual path or you're on a spiritual journey, um, sometimes love can be a distraction. So this card usually pops up to remind you that um, that uh, true love is worth waiting for. And right now, what you're going through, you're going to have to wait. That's usually what I get. Like, sometimes you have to be on your own to learn certain things before you can bring someone in. Excuse me, y'all. All right, so we got religious factors. It says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing. Let me pull two more. It says this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, and your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. It also says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? So, let's pull some goddess guidance oracle cards. So we can see what messages we have from spirit. What messages do we have from spirit for Virgo? Ooh, two popped out immediately. All right, we got Bright Future. It says, stop worrying as everything is going to be fine. We also got Blossoming. It says, you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. We also have your channel for divine healing power and love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Make sure that you're protecting your energy, guys, this week. Because with Medicine Woman, that means that does mean that there are health issues that you need to um, be aware of this week. That's how I take that card. All right, so this is all I have for Virgo. If you guys would like a personal read, um, all my information is in the description. You can hit me up on my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com. You can also hit me up on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. Um, you guys, if you want to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal, www.paypal.me slash intimatewisdom. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe, blah. Comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, and y'all have a nice night.